I was contacted by Maggie Adler, the curator at Emmett Carter, uh, to come in and discuss a project. He engages with history with a sense of humor, but a great seriousness for the role of botanists, naturalists, um, historical figures and historical artists. In fact, he really sort of embodies what they were experiencing in historical times. For, for the, my topic, you know, the, the construction of nature and the history of natural history, the collection at M. Carter couldn't be better. Mother of Pearl button, a bit of a ceramic cup. We came up with the idea of, of constructing an exhibition that that follows the evolution of the idea of the artist naturalist and the artist explorer from the um, early 19th century to today. We started out with um, Mark emulating the experiences in Texas of Sarah Ann Hardinge. Mark will follow some of her journeys, but the protagonists will slip in and out of prominence as, as he goes on his, his travels. What's interesting for the Galveston part of the trip is, is that Audubon and Charles Wright were both here, uh, and they were here as early as 1837. It's like it's going to be a head. Oh, okay. okay. He is a collector of objects. Sometimes it's Fruit Loops, sometimes it's botanical specimens, and he's really engaged in this process of collecting, obsessive collecting in a way that creates um, a sense of wonder when you walk into his exhibitions. Every day I get up pretty early and usually go out on a collecting expedition. So looking for things uh, sometimes in secondhand shops and, and antique stores and, and uh, thrift stores and places like that. Sometimes uh, uh, at, at the edge of the ocean, combing the beach and the dunes, looking for interesting bits of material culture, interesting bits of nature. It's a big ship behind you, container ship. You know, Mark considers these uh, items that he's collected his art artist supplies. So whereas a painter's artist supply is a range of paint on the palette, um, for Mark, these objects are going to be the materials from which he crafts his artwork upon installation. That's a bone. That's from a, a leg bone. Probably a leg bone from uh, one of the, you know, the great blue heron. <laughs> You never know what you're going to get, and I like that spirit of adventure um, being brought to the Eamon Carter. It pushes the boundaries of what a normal exhibition looks like, but it's accessible to our audiences. So they're going to come in there and they're going to feel as though they're in the past, but they're really experiencing something that's very much of our present moment. This tramp art thing made out of bottle caps, you think you'd do a little better on that? Could pay with a card, I could pay with a check, I could pay with cash. And for cash? Alright, I'm gonna go get some cash. Yeah.